Taurus. How are you? Welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. And we have begun. This is your June part two. Please only take what resonates as per usual. So, my beautiful Taurus, we've got to follow our intuition and be aware. So, can I have one of these, please? Thank you. Or two of those. Whatever floats your boat, angel spirit guides. Life purpose and relationship. Okay, so our four oracles. Our moon, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. And we have beware. Be careful who you trust in this time. So what I would say is just keep your cards close to your chest because moon energy can talk about like deceptive energies around you. So keep your cards close to your chest during this time. Life purpose, my beautiful Taurus. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus on serving a purpose and your purpose will serve you. And we have relationship. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and love within, so shall other relationships bloom and prosper. There we go. Okay, my beautiful, beautiful Taurus. Let's get into the tarot. Six major cards then, please, angel spirit guides. For our Taurus, for June, highest energies, please. Thank you so much. We have the moon again. So this is in the past energies, my beautiful, beautiful Taurus. So something is come to light. That's what I feel. We have the tower. We have the queen of swords. And two more for our beautiful, beautiful Taurus, please. Two more for Taurus. What else do they need to see and be aware of for the month of June? Six of Wands, boom, victory, Seven of Swords. So that's what I felt when this beware. So the Seven of Swords, now we've got at the bottom the Two of Pentacles. So it's juggling stages. So we'll get some clarifiers and we'll get into it. Moon Energy, please, Angel Spirit Guides. For Taurus, Moon Energy, Three of Wands, boom. What else? Whoa. King of Wands, get you in your power. My goodness me. Wow. Mastery, then we're going to seven. Knight of Swords. Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords, and Knight of Wands. Whoa, we've got a lot of messages coming through to you. You need your inner strength for this perseverance, right? Tower Energy, this is hidden influence at work. Ace of Pentacles. That's exciting. That's very exciting. And what else? Strength again. And that's got mixed up, but it's obviously meant to be there. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands. Right, this is a hid. This is the obstacle position. Uh, Queen of Swords, the obstacle position with the Page of Swords and the Two of Swords. Right, I get that. Yeah, this is somebody being naughty. Right, and then we're going to the Six of Wands, and that's clarified with the Ten of Cups and the Page of Cups. That's beautiful. Right, the Seven of Swords. Can I have some more information? Who is the Seven of Swords, and why are they doing this? Right. What else? Right. Hmm. Naughty, naughty person. Yeah, you can see that. Right, and at the bottom again, we have the Two of Pentacles. So on both packs, my beautiful Taurus, we have the Two of Pentacles. This means you are juggling life. You know, you're in, you're out, you're in, you're out, you're in, you're out. It depends. This can be the relationship. Are you in and out of a relationship? Are you juggling life where income equals expenditure and you're worried about your pentacles, but you're juggling in general? Maybe it's these relationships you're juggling with. Talk to your creator about it. Right, my beautiful Taurus, I'm going to just adjust, take a seat and we shall begin. Okay, my beautiful Taurus, moon energy, beware, life's purpose, relationships. So pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. And I can see you are as a young emperor there to the king of wands, which is phenomenal. And this is past the energies. Beware, be careful who you trust in this time. Just keep your cards close to your chest and only trust those who are your biggest cheerleaders. You know, there are, I can see there are people in your midst that um, her, they've not got your best interest at heart. So make sure you surround yourself with people who do. You know, trust your relationship with God. Your life purpose is going to find you. So 
we're starting with past energy the moon so this can talk about secrets and illusions but this can also because we've got the moon twice you know this is in the past there's something you followed an intuition right you've embarked upon this journey down a dimly lit path knowing it'll eventually become illuminated for you and that is following your intuition and your spiritual self that's what i believe because on the old tarot as you can see her spirit guide is in the water this is obviously as well where you gain your clarity you could have a bath and things like that and this is where you get your epiphany moments now it tells me you've taken action within a situation this is work action foresight vision it can mean an unexplored leadership role and the king of wands it's what you've manifested now he holds the wand of energy so whatever it is this is increased your knowledge and power in a situation and he's very balanced within a situation he's in a wisdom type energy so you followed your intuition using your inner wisdom your guidance from above right beyond anything else now what it's saying in the current is we have the seven of wands it's telling you to make sure in this situation you stand your ground and be stubborn, okay? And this could be with a knight of swords, but this can also talk about mastery. You know, you've it's effort within a situation and faced with challenges, you've actually grown stronger. As you can see in the old tarot, she's turned her back on the devil and she's not having any of it. And it's charging you forward. Now, you've got a message coming in too, in fact, and it's rushing into you and it can upskittle you because the... King, the Knight of Swords, his communication rushing into you. You're going to have this communication rush into you. This is to do with work. And what it's saying with the Seven of Wands is you've put effort into something. I can see that in the past energies, right? And this message is coming to you. The Knight of Wands holds the Wand of Energy. So it's can mean unpredictable travel coming in with this message and you need your inner strength and perseverance and this is believing in yourself so can you do it my beautiful Taurus of course you can because you've gained mastery in a situation so this message is going to charge into you this can be obviously with a wand it can mean enterprise it can mean energy is in work or development that type of thing but you need your inner strength in a situation so whatever you've put into fruition following your intuition is going to come into fruition <laughs> if that makes sense that is a mouthful and it's charging you forward as the knight of wands and it can mean unpredictable travel but you need to believe in yourself in this situation now hidden influence is the tower and you're like how Lauren how is a tower hidden influence because it, it is it's fantastic so this new job this new experience in life is going to put you in a tower this is breaking down the old ways the tower must crumble in order to build new foundations and when I say that we've got the ace of pentacles so this is the start of your monetary foundation okay it's the new seed into the material realm and what they're saying here the old must break down now that clears you know when you've cooked a roast dinner for example my beautiful Taurus and you made your own gravy and the you get the residue on the pan what the tower does it removes that residue and it enables you to have a clean slate in which to build now this is the first brick into the manifestation world of monetary wise and what it's saying again is persevere forward with the strength card there when you believe in yourself in a situation this is when you put a direct vibrational frequency out to the universe on what you want believing in yourself is the key to your manifestation and whatever you're trying to develop because this isn't arrogance this isn't ignorance this is simply you holding yourself strong and knowing that you can go down this dimly lit path you are the young emperor and you become the king of wands right and that is mastery because you've got a message coming in this can be a work opportunity you need your inner strength and this is believing in yourself gonna put you in a tower moment of course it is because it's breaking down the old ways to build these new foundations the ace pentacles is starting again it's the first brick into the material realm and you need your inner strength again it's telling you to believe in yourself now obstacles to overcome we have the queen of swords with the page of swords and the two of swords so the obstacle to overcome is probably people gossiping um i'm just gonna say it how it is and um, sit in your queen of swords energy now you need to communicate something here you need to hold the sword of communication you need to be bold and powerful in a situation the queen of swords is very powerful she holds her sword of truth she speaks her mind she remains calm and logical in a situation if you've got people gossiping about you or things from the pa past coming up you know it's going to come as an obstacle what i would do if i were you in this situation is use your queen of swords energy to release that because it's 
it's blocking your heart chakra and you know you have got two paths ahead which path are you going to go for and it can mean you need to communicate the situation you need to speak your mind and do it calm and logically and do it with mind rather than heart in this situation. Use your mind in this situation. That is the obstacle and that is how you overcome the obstacle. I will never give you a scenario without a conclusion or an answer because that is pointless and it leaves you in the dark. So what I do, because I'm a teacher, is develop you and help you speak your truth and how you do that. My angel spirit guides give you guidance on how to do that. And what they're saying here is make sure you communicate throughout this. If you've got people in the past gossiping about you, if you've got people around you gossiping about you don't even feed that vibration because they're low frequency compared to you my beautiful Taurus know your power and your worth use your inner strength in a situation because we have a victory coming in on what you should do this is victorious this is victorious with family life your ten of cups is all your cups are full now you could have a surprise coming to you which might shock you and upskittle you and it can make people jealous I'm just going to say how it is and you know I'm a very high vibe channel but this is how the cards are full so this victory you know your success is going to come to you and you can have a surprise but it's going to fill all your 10 cups which is like your happily ever after it's going to be love happiness abundance everything it's like all your cups are filled whatever your cups are you could have 10 cats for all I know and that fills all your cups which is absolutely wonderful because I'm an animal lover and I absolutely get it um, but you know that could be your victory in a situation they, they, they could be your 10 cups but whatever it is you're persevering towards here your six of wands tells me it's going to be successful your ambitions will be fulfilled all your cups are going to be full you are going to have a surprise and as you can see the fish pops out the cup and it says oh hello what is going on here but with the page of cups this is also like an infancy stage it's the new stage and it can mean messages from family again and I very much believe that these people could be giving you a message which is going to fill your ten of cups and it's going to be a victory in the situation it, whatever you're working towards is going to be successful it's going to fit, fill all your cups but you do have a surprise coming in now the outcome we have the seven of swords it just wants you to be aware here and this sounds really really you know low vibe but it's not because of what it's teamed with that there are people that are going to try and upskill your plans and that's what it is you know you could have delays with um travel for example, because it says about travel delays and things like that. But what they want you to do is be prepared for it and take this as guidance. You know, sit in your Queen of Pentacles energy and get all your ducks in a row. When you get all your ducks in a row, you are prepared for anything, right? Because this is your harvest and, this is your harvest and prosperity you're working towards. And it is actually the end of darkness. You've, you've gone through a cycle, my beautiful Taurus, where... You know, if you have got people in your midst that are trying to upskittle your energy, you are not letting that happen. They try and hold your plans back almost. And by having your ducks in a row and sitting with your love and compassion as the Queen of Pentacles, then you're combating that frequency and that low frequency energy. You're sorting out your harvest and prosperity. You are getting your ducks in a row, which tells me that it's going to be the end of darkness for you. Now, it tells me you've been juggling life. You know, you could have been in, out, in, out, in, out, shake it all about. And... Um, this can be, you know, your income's equaled expenditure, but it is a turn for the better because your cups are going to be full and you're going to have a victory. So don't think just because of what the past has done that it's not going to be the now. Do you see what I mean? It's sort of, it's yin-yang balance almost. The two of pentacles, he's juggling. You could be juggling life. And if you're juggling this new opportunity as well as work, it's telling me that actually you can maintain this balance. You just need to get your stability in play. You need to sort that out and don't let people upskittle your energy. It's as simple as that. You know, beware of these people because there could be talking about you with the moon there and beware be careful who you trust in this time hold your cards close to your chest your life purpose the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others don't worry about finding your purpose instead focus on serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you and this is when you get an epiphany moment just like I did with the channel with meditation with Reiki this is when you move forward because you're serving a purpose in love energy and light this is when you develop you just get the epiphany moments and you follow the path it's like a download okay so your spirituality is growing and you're getting more and more downloads your relationship your primary relationship is with yourself and god and every other relationship follows from there to attract heal or balance a relationship we got the two balance 
in here so you're trying desperately to balance then snuggle more closely with your loving creator as you feel safe and love within so shall other relationships bloom and prosper so what it's telling me my beautiful Taurus is you are trying desperately to balance this relationship even and you know it's affecting your harvest your prosperity your stability and you feel stabbed in the back that's as simple as it could be and what's happening here is when you balance yourself everything around you becomes balanced and that is universal balance right so balancing your heart chakra we've got green energy green energy it can be green or pink is your heart chakra when you balance your heart chakra out everything around you is balanced because you vibrate that vibrational frequency so when you serve from the heart you are serving heart energy and you are balanced. Things around you become balanced. So there you go, my beautiful Taurus. That is your June part two. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're a new channel and I very much appreciate it. If this is your read, give me a thumbs up. They're completely private. Leave me a message below. I love connecting and talking to you. And I know I'm not speaking to just anybody because we're a light workers channel. So we have darkness attack daily. So, you know, it just helps. And I really appreciate it. Share it to your social media. You know, it's very much appreciated. Until next time, check out your 48 hourly reads. How you get these is by touching the notification bell ring that bell for everything if you get a read come up that is not yours you just swipe and you don't watch it check out your sun moon rising signs for a clear picture about what is coming for june part two love and light to you until next time lots of love from me lauren and bye bye for now